In this video, we will get two ChatGPT APIs, GPT 3.5 Turbo, to talk to one another, one being the creative AI, the other one being the critical AI. Let's just run this real quick. We will be entering a topic for them to discuss. Let's just say how to learn Python programming. After this point, they're going to go back and forth between when critical AI starts the conversation, but the creative AI picks the topic. Here in this case, we're picking it, but it is within the prompt of the creative AI. So they go back and forth for a little while, and then we actually send the entire conversation to GPT, to text of inch 003, to get a summarization of the entire thing. I have also tried this just using Text DaVinci 003 instead of ChatGPT API. We're going to take a look at that code as well. So let's begin and see how we can implement something like this. Let's begin with the code GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is ChatGPT API, and then we'll take a look at the DaVinci 003 code as well. I will be having these codes available for download for my Patreon supporters, but feel free to copy it from the video as well. The only requirement for this is that you have pip install OpenAI and import Oh, I just want I just put a warning that these run in a loop, so you will be consuming a lot of tokens, especially with DaVinci 003. So be careful. And then we define our OpenAI API key. Then we create a system prompt for the creative thinker. As you see, we say the creative AI's prompt is the system role is you are a very smart creative thinking. You'll be talking to a very smart critical thinker. Together, you'll be building upon a given idea, which will be user-defined, but this user-defined idea comes, we will add it to the creative AI's prompt. Feel free to disagree with, to the, with the other person. I said, do not always say, I completely agree with you, or absolutely, because they were doing that, and always be open to generating new ideas. And the system prompt for critical thinker is very similar, except that I prompted it to be a critical thinker. And then we get the idea from the user with the Python's input function. Then we create an empty list for a total conversation. Because we will be appending this conversation that the creative AI and the critical AI are having to the total conversation. And eventually we will send this to text which is 003 for summarization. Once we get the idea from the user input, we are adding it to the prompt of the critical as role user content idea. Then we add that. To the total conversation is the last element we initiated with that because we are leaving out the system messages then we set the total tokens to zero because we're going to be keeping track of the tokens and then we say while the to total token count is less than 500 i set this to 500 just to make it work quicker then we get a completion from the gpt 3.5 turbo with temperature 0.5 makes token set to 200 and we input the messages of the prompt being the critical AI's prompt. This seems it may be a bit confusing because it's a bit recursive, but the user input which we have defined the topic with goes into the critical AI's prompt because we will be sending the critical AI's prompt to the critical AI, and then we're going to get its completion, and then we're going to print its completion. Then we're going to append it as the user to the creative AI's prompt, and then we will be sending that as the creative AI and get another completion the same way. I just want to explain that. I have tried to use frequency penalty and presence penalty at a maximum, as I have written in this comment, because they were just continually agreeing with one another. All the generating new ideas, I thought maybe limiting the frequency and presence would actually change that, but it most of the time didn't. Anyway, then after we get the first response from the critical, AI, then we print the response, and then we add the response to the creative AI prompt, then we add that to the total conversation, and then we check the total tokens real quick, and then we check if the total tokens over 500, then we break. Since we are making two different calls to the API, we are checking this at three different places, one in the beginning of the loop, one after we receive the first response, and then one after we receive the second response. So once we have created the creative AI's tokens and added the rest of it to the total conversation, then we get another completion. This time we are, the settings are exactly the same, but this time we are using the creative AI's prompt. Then we are printing the creative AI's message. 
then we are appending the creative AI's response to the creative AI's response to the critical AI. And then we add that to the total conversation, check the total tokens, make sure the total tokens don't exceed. And then this loop repeats again, the while loop. Once we've reached this 500 token limit, then after that, since we have generated the total conversation by continuously appending to it, then we make another separate API called OpenAI using text of inches 003. And our prompt in this case is summarize the following conversation and we input the total conversation with a temperature 0.3 and mix tokens 500. And then we print the summary. Let's just see this action one more time. I'm just going to input fractals this time around. And they're going to start talking about fractals. The critical says fractals are fascinating patterns. You can actually go ahead and read these. The creative response, I completely agree with you, and gives another explanation. Then the critical goes on to agree and gives another explanation. Then the creative goes on. And then now we have reached the 500 token limit. And then we get a summary. This conversation discusses the fascination, fascinating patterns of fractals, their potential applications. So if you just get a nice little summary, you can read both the exchange and the summary. I thought this could be used for useful cases. I'll leave the ideas to you to test and operate in. Now I have replicated the same code using text of inches 003. I just want to mention that this ends up using a lot of tokens because for some reason, some of the completions that are returned are blank. But keep in mind that even though you're receiving blank completions, you're still using the contextual history of the chat as your prompt count. So this can add up pretty quickly. I just want to mention that. Please be careful. This can consume a lot of tokens and tokens cost money. But essentially the idea is the same. We have pip install OpenAI. We are importing OS, setting the API key. We have a prompt for the creative AI and one for the Critical AI, we are getting the idea this time, again from user, but I just named this creative AI this time. Then we are creating a total conversation with whatever the creative AI has prompt is, critical AI's prompt, and then whatever the creative AI is idea is, which we are inputting. And then we are again checking the total tokens. And then we are doing the same condition, less than 500 tokens. Then we actually put in a stop token here, creative AI, because the first will be the critical AI. And then once it's done responding, then the creative AI will be next. And if it tries to write creative AI, then it should stop right there. Then we are printing the completion, adding that to the total conversation. Then we are checking the total tokens. Then we are doing another call to open AI. This time is the creative AI. And then we are stopping at where the critical AI should be because then it's just going to go in a loop. Then we are printing the response of the creative AI, adding that to the total conversations, checking the total tokens. And if that is about 500, then we are breaking. And whenever any one of these conditions, beginning of the while loop, or these two if statements is satisfied, then we get out of that loop. And now we have our total conversation and we make a final call to OpenAI's API using text of inches 003 again summarizing the total conversation and then we are printing it. Let's see this one in action as well. This time again, I'm going to start the topic with easiest way to learn Python programming language. We are printing the original conversation, original prompt right away, then the critical AI response. While there are a variety of ways to learn Python and the creative AI goes on. Honestly, text DaVinci 003 ends up having better conversations. But sometimes some of the responses comes up blank. That's why it's consuming a lot of tokens. And the summary sometimes doesn't work. Let's try this again. We are running it again. I made a typo. But again, we're going to go back and forth. As you see, sometimes the AI doesn't want to respond for some reason. Maybe you can find a solution. If you do, please let me know in the comments. This is why this ends up consuming a lot of tokens. But that's why I kept it limited to 500. And again, I guess it did summarize it, but in the voice of the critical AI. Let's try one more. This time, let's try solar energy. Okay, this time we were able to get a decent summary. As you see, creative AI and critical AI went back and forth. And the summary is in this conversation, creative AI and critical AI discussed the potential of using 
renewable energy sources and it goes on to summarize it. I'm not sure why sometimes the responses return blank and why sometimes it doesn't summarize it. If you feel I may I have a bug or something in my code, let me know in the comments. But this is it. I'll make this two files available for my Patreon supporters for download. I think this will be a nice starting point for experimenting with AIs talking to one another. Um, I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one and take care.